Hoo-wee. Man, oh man, just when I thought the seat wasn't going to get too hot, it just keeps heating up, man. Because we got ourselves some uh, some new leaks, some new sneak peeks. And uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to get this video out because I saw these and I was like, yeah, I got to talk about it. So first off, for the Armada fans out there, um, you're going to get yourself a Voyager star screen and admittedly it looks good i mean armada is not my thing personally because armada wasn't my entry point it's like that's the thing about collecting transformers is like everybody has an entry point everybody has that point for me it was g1 it kind of continued with uh beast wars and it kind of rounded up with the japanese anime that kind of is where my entry point and my continuation kind of goes for other people it was the comics for some people it was uh the bayverse movies you know not for actually for a lot of people now that i think about it the bayverse movies was your introduction and or reintroduction into the transformers world and and uh for, for a lot of people also your entry point was transformers animated transformers armada things like that and whenever you get representation in the main line or in the third party for you to get representation this this is for you this buds for you like this is it this is it i'm uh i'm happy to see this first of all it looks good i looked into this a little bit so apparently it comes with the star saber not the character star saber but for people who are up on animated but um or armada um comes with the actual star saber um which is a weapon he does not come with mini cons apparently that's a thing people are mad about um if you're it, you know that's and I, I trust me i'm sure uh without a doubt mini cons are coming hold the line mini cons are coming we got bulkhead even though he was a g105 bulkhead um the mini cons are coming um just I, hold your don't i'm not saying hold your breath but i'm saying there's a there's a strong possibility there's going to be mini cons in the future in some way shape or form either as a as a mini con pack or they're, they're going to come they're going to come so just hold the line but this guy actually looks really good that it looks like they broke away from the clear plastic like even the cockpit doesn't have any clear plastic on it so bonus bonus this it, it might actually stand the test of time and um yeah i mean there's a lot of things you have to understand about this is like people are getting those animated figures and those armada figures and all the stuff they're they're going to be coming down the line and you're going to get these guys with the modern updated engineering and posability so i mean this this could be something special especially because they gave it the voyager budget so i mean i'm i hope i hope it's not for me but i hope 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 beyond hope that the people who wanted this were asking for this they're their uh, request has been answered and i hope they enjoy this but yeah hit me up in the comments let me know if this is something you're interested in and also what what was your entry point for transformers what brought you into the fold so to speak but honestly i'm gonna get to the main event the main event to me was the first look at beast wars inferno holy smokes this looks good like i'm just gonna start with the, the the first thing i saw when i looked at the images was in the box his mouth was closed and the other images his mouth was open so are we gonna get that posable jaw be able to have his mouth open and close um i've seen other images where the back of the figure he has the uh ro he has the uh rotors and the uh, jet propulsion system that he had in the uh in the the beast wars cartoon i'm i'm all in on this like i you know a lot of people 
are probably not going to like the real life ant look like the fire ant look they're not gonna like that i mean me personally i'm i'm kind of enjoying it on some figures on some figures beast war figures i'm kind of enjoying the real life take i think it kind of separates it from the masterpiece figures and gives it more of a it gives it more of a flair you know i i personally like that so i think the alt mode looks really good another thing about it um he doesn't come with his gigantic mega cannon you know the giant flamethrower that he had he didn't have any of that he doesn't have that but he has like the regular old uh, uh I think it's the three shooter gun like just shooting out just buckshotting people <laughs> like <laughs> but yeah this looks really really good i'm really excited about this um i don't know what else to say other than bravo i'm you know this is going to round out between this and the tarantulas this is going to round out a lot of people's uh collections because those look like they're going to be big big figures like if these guys could be as big as like Blaster, Wreckguard, Guard, Dino Bot, yes, give it to me, give it to me, Tarantulas, give it to me with Inferno. I'm excited for these Beast War offerings. Like I don't know, but yeah, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking about this, and make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And with that, be safe, be good. And this is the Drunken Prime, cracking open another beer and signing off.